the most to you? What stuck out the most to me this evening of what I've heard yeah. so far? Yeah, yeah. Um, honestly, when you were talking about um, people on hospice and when um, family wants them to eat, how it would prolong the life and that's not a good thing. It stuck out to me because um, the night my father passed away, he actually came to, well, he didn't come to me. He um, asked me for cake and coffee. And this is a man who hadn't eaten in four days. I mean, he's passed away several hours later, but um, he asked me for that. So I feel like I didn't prolong that. It was just um, something that sort of struck me when you said that. Um, yes. Yeah, so, so just let me, two things, um, two things I have to tell you right off the bat. So uh, you're on a couch. And so uh, he says to move over because he's sitting right beside you. It is your dad that's coming through right at this moment in time. And he, uh -huh. again, when you start, uh, I'm not a doctor, so I don't give medical advice and don't ever go to a psychic medium for medical advice. Otherwise you're an idiot. But what I'm feeling right now is I feel very strongly that what I have to say to you is that as he's uh, coming through, he was, he was starting to lose his faculties. He was starting to like be, being unable to discern reality from truth and stuff. So when he wanted that stuff, it's because he really wanted it, but he was in a different realm. Um, he was surrounded by a whole pile of people. And I have what would be grandma coming through to get him. So uh, this would be his mother coming mm -hmm. through to bring him over to the other side. And you know this to be true. He's sitting right beside you, by the way. He says he says that he was talking about his mom, grandma, when uh, just before he passes. And this is like a day or two before, um, or maybe three, four days. I don't know what it is. Because I got to tell you, I, I don't mean it to, oh, my, the, the hairs on the back of my arms are standing up. I have to tell you that um, when they're in a time distortion, like they don't know if they're coming or going, I don't know if he's, if it's like one minute before he died or like one week before, right? It's, it's hard to, he's, he's surrounded by people. There's, so I need you to know, Darlene, I need you to know that when he's, uh, he's talking to these people, they're there in that room with him. They're there in that room with them. So he's not like delusional. He really is seeing them. And you'll never die alone. I think I covered this earlier on before. He wants you to know I was, I could see them all. I could see them. He's talking about it being really, he's making, it's an illusion, but he's making me look at my, these lights that light my office up are ring lights. They're famous. Now everybody uses them. And he's burning my eyeballs out. He's like seeing bright lights. He's like, he's getting all these sensory things. He's seeing people. And I need you to know, Darlene, he's, he, was, he was not alone. He had all the loved ones coming to get him on the other side. And he's, he's so thankful that you were there. He wants me to say thanks. Thanks for that. I'm glad, kind of glad you didn't bring him the cake though. Cause that would have been defeated the purpose. Um, that's it's part of the natural. He's right beside you. He says he's doing the same thing. He's like, he's, he wants, he's, he's, if I was sitting beside you, I have to tell you, I have this compulsion to want to brush your hair. Like I want to touch your hair. <laughs> it's like, he wants to play with your hair. So he's, he's like sitting beside you like this and he's like touching your hair. He's like, this is my daughter. This, this is her. This is her. Yeah. So he must've had some sort of an infatuation with your hair or loved your hair or whatever. Um, thought was one of, that was one of us. Yeah. He's, he's, uh, he's here. And he's got a, um, this, I think this is the first one that I've seen tonight. I think this is the first one I've seen tonight. He has a dog with him. He has a, a little dog with him. That's, uh, that's really, it won't leave his side. It's a dog that won't leave his side. Yeah. It won't leave his side. Yeah. It's, a, it's not big. It's not tiny, but it's like, it's, it's a dog that will not leave its, his, his side. Yeah. Whose dog is that? Is that his dog or whose dog is that? It's his dog. Yeah. Won't leave his side. Yeah. Will not leave his side. That would be ginger, I'm thinking. Yeah. Yeah. So the dog just won't leave. It's it's like, if he gets up to move, the dog follows him. And there must be some sort of like, uh, <laughs> there, when they were alive, there must've been some sort of like, I'm gonna step on your head one of these days. Cause it's like literally <laughs> like, like an ankle biter. It's like, he must've stepped on the dog probably a hundred times in his <laughs> lifetime because the dog's like, just won't, like it's too close to him. It's like, I don't know if the dog's stupid or it just needs to be that close, but it's just that, you know, stepping on his dog's toes. Oh, that's on. so funny. Isn't that yeah, true? She was always underfoot. That's, that's yeah. uh, like, a, like I'm talking about a, like loving annoyance, annoyance. Like he loved that she wanted to, be. he couldn't even go. This is, if you've ever seen those memes on Facebook, 
where like you're just trying to go to the bathroom and the dog is like sitting like watching you going for a poop it's like this this <laughs> dog was with him everywhere he went everywhere oh, he went so funny. and it's and ginger's with him now i need to tell you that yeah yeah he's happy wow. over there he, he's ha he's happy over there i think i just lost my other earphone yes i did. okay can you guys still hear me yeah can you hear me okay i can just, hear you yep i'm just trying to game the system I, I learned a trick i can switch them and charge while i'm doing this yeah he's uh he's happy over there he wants you to know that he really he really does he he really does oh, yeah yeah i'm glad um and it's there's something about um there's something about so um okay so sometimes they'll show me stuff that i've seen so i don't know if i've got this quite right my dad used to have this ugly worn to death uh I, i'm gonna call it a lumber man's jacket like a lumber jacket worn my mom would threaten to throw it out and she did one time and he went and got it pulled it back out again because it was his favorite sort of uh in canada jacket so he's showing me like th that's what i'm seeing so is there i don't know if it's literally a lumber was there a jacket that used to drive mom are you guys nuts that he would wear or a shirt that was like dear god that's ugly throw it out or something there's some funny funny aspect about this and if well, i'm not mistaken you've got it i've actually got one of them he had a lot of shirts um and he would wear the same ones all the time we have many pictures of him christmas after christmas all wearing that same shirt again and so yeah i mean that that's what makes me i'm thinking of that right, right now okay so he says you've got it so that's so if he's saying that that means the shirt he's showing me is might not be what i just described but that's the shirt that you and uh, if i'm not mistaken you sometimes put it on or wear it to remember him i have it in my closet as a matter of fact <laughs> yeah. yeah and he says and not to freak you out or embarrass you in front of other people but you sometimes smell it just to get his, his scent oh yeah or, or, or try to pick up the scent i don't know if he can still but it's, that's, you're not broken. That's normal. That's, they love that when we do that kind of thing. They love it when we do that kind of thing, because that's a way of remembering him and having that connection. Well, um, I'm happy to hear that. I'm, I'm one of three daughters that, of his, and um, we're, we're all like that. We all still go there and um, I don't know, like to be close oh. to his things. Oh, so, okay. So you just, okay. So now I know what he's talking about. So just let me back up for a split second. A famous magician, because I love magic, if you can't tell, famous magician died. He was 92, and we were in heavy-duty correspondence right up to the day he died. And um, he, uh, at his online memorial, all of the family were on, and they all had one of his shirts on. So oh. I, know you're, I know that your sisters have shirts of his, too. So you're not the only one. So don't think that you're too weird. You can always blame it on them. No, I know they all, we all have them. <laughs> yeah, but it was a beautiful thing because they were all like wearing Hawaiian shirts to like a, a memorial service, right? And I was like, what's up? And then it was like, oh my God, that's Walter's, oh my God, that they're, they're wearing Walter's shirts because he loved Hawaiian shirts. And it was a beautiful thing. So that's, that makes them have joy. It makes them bring, it bring, makes them make, I'm, I'm speaking bad English, brings them joy and peace. So I hope that that's done the same thing to you. He's throwing white roses at you. White roses means for me, to say I love you and he says listen he says to me tell her I'm never going to leave them they're my pride and joy they are my pride and joy and I love them I love them thank you so much he, and, and, I, and listen I know sometimes when you say when I hear it he's saying I love you you know it's like yeah 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 whatever no I mean this is you you guys were joy to him you brought him joy and continue to bring him joy know that and that he's not dead he's alive and you're still bringing him joy by moving on in your life that there is a powerful exclamation mark if i ever heard one <laughs> yeah it sure is thank you so much for that you are very welcome how has this healed you tonight i'm sorry what how has this healed you tonight oh this has been amazing this a lot of things you just talked about with my father were spot on. Um, you were, when the, the, the night before he passed, he kept looking up at the ceiling and he kept saying, do you see all the people? Can you see all the people? And there, there was a ceiling fan 
up in the ceiling spinning around and he was looking at this round thing. He kept talking about the round and you mentioned so many of those things. It's just wonderful validation. I just, thank you. You're welcome. It's what I do. And I hope that everybody else is taking this to heart too, because you don't die alone. You die surrounded by the loved ones on the other side. It's a beautiful thing. And he validated that and he validated how much he loves you guys. And I, I love the, for me, the shirt thing, that, 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 that was my, that was my personal favorite part of what you just shared. So I can't wait so. to tell my sisters about this. They're going to be amazed. <laughs> and they should be because he's still very much alive. I would, by the way, um, thanks for mentioning that. I need to say this. Uh, normally when this happens, don't be thinking that he's just with you right now. You're the one that brought him through, not me. You brought him through. And because he's talking about the other girls, I'm telling you, there will be coincidences where they're going to be like, oh my God, I was just looking at the shirt today. Or, oh my God, I was just thinking about him. Or this happened or that happened. That's not going to be a coincidence. You're here for a reason. And it would have triggered them off not being here or not. It makes no difference. They are aware of his presence today. That is wonderful. We all Thank miss you. him. Yeah. And, and that's fine. But he's still very much alive in spirit. And uh, he... He, our loved ones don't miss us because our loved ones don't see us, see themselves as being dead. They're alive, just in spirit. 